Let's talk about pests. We all have them in our homes, big or small. And when it comes to controlling them, there are lots of options available to us. Now, the commercial ones tend to be a lot more expensive and harmful to the environment. But we have with us today, Jennifer Davies, who is a qualified phytotherapist, here to give us some ideas on making your own pest control uh, remedies at home, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. First of all, good morning. Very good morning. to have you here as always. Thank I think you. after our last visit, we were talking about rosemary and you put it on that mm -hmm. uh, little wristband. And That's it's right. I've been relaxed like all week till now. <laughs> and your brain's been working. It's been working work. optimal level, cool. at optimal level. <laughs> but let's talk about today, controlling pests, mozzies, flies in our homes mm -hmm. using essential oils. Yeah, that's very important because, you know, with the environmental concerns, you know, all these poisons that you spray, it's not good, it's not good for you, it's not good for the environment. And in my experience, they don't really work that much anyway. You've still Plus got the most mozzies of them buzzing smell around. Terrible. They smell terrible, terrible. as well. Mm -hmm. So with your essential oils, they smell nice, which is good. It's better for the environment, better for you. And they're really effective. I mean, um, the essential oils of plants, plants have developed them to stop them from getting attacked by insects. Uh -huh. So, you know, so that bugs can't get in and eat the plants and uh -huh. so on. So they've developed that as a defense mechanism. And of course, isn't so it a great thing when you're at it. home and you have kids? Because, I mean, you spray yes. all over the place and kids like to touch everything. Next thing oh, you're yeah. putting fingers in mouths and whatnot, so you wouldn't want to have those poisonous yeah. things in your kids. Definitely not, definitely not. So, I mean, what you can do um, with your, I think everybody knows citronella by now. Citronella. Don't know if you've heard of that. They usually make it in these uh, candles. You get your citronella candles that they sell in bry shops. Just <laughs> open that. I, I've, I've got a, a friend on Facebook who's named Petronella. I don't know if... Not, yeah. No. What's citronella? This... Citronella is a type of grass. Yes. Um, it's similar to lemongrass. Um, this one's a lemongrass. You can mm. have a smell of that. You'll have to describe it for okay. people who can't actually... So, I don't, yeah, I'll try. That's the lemongrass. So they, they're quite... Similar. They are quite similar. Citronella is like the lighter form mm, of lemongrass. Exactly, grass. exactly. And that's your lemongrass. Everybody knows it in Thai cooking and things like that. So it's the Ooh. same kind of plant. Um, beautiful. Both beautiful. of them are grasses. Okay, all right. Okay. So basically, you can use it in an oil burner. That's right. really nice. Mm -hmm. um, you would put about, let's just have a look. This one's lemongrass, so it's a strong one. So you okay. would put about four drops in there. Four or drops four into a bar. Drops. This is that, that looks like three tablespoons. Yeah, of water. It's, it depends. I mean, you get different oil burners. Some of them are very small. Some of them are big. So, yes. I mean, you just fill it up and yeah. put as much in as you want to. Mm -hmm. And um, last time you mentioned those those salts we can use instead of water. You can right? use coarse salt. You can even put it on your braai, not when there's food on the I was braai, about to say because yeah. then it's gonna <laughs> <laughs> then it's gonna make your food smell funny. But while you're sitting and you're waiting for the braai to yes. heat up, you put a few drops. Just stand a little bit back because it is an oil, so it can cause it to to a flare, bit of a flare up a little bit, but I mean it's not going to set fire to the whole thatch former <laughs> of yours. But, yeah. And there goes your lava up in smokes. <laughs> exactly. So you, you'd have that and, and you'd put it on your brine, that would get rid of the, the kind of... Yeah, the mozzies yes. basically and the flies because obviously wow. the, the heat makes it evaporate yes. into the atmosphere and the bugs don't like it at all so they, they fly away. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, there's another way you can make a spray. Mm -hmm. um, you'd basically, you can get the spray, spray bottles normally in craft shops. Okay. You fill it up with water. Mm -hmm. um, I did make one earlier because mm -hmm. um, I don't want to mess all over the place. Mm -hmm. I can. Do you, you want to make a spray? I would like to make a spray, okay. yes. There you go. I'm thinking, because I, I, I sometimes have these um, bottles of uh, hairspray. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, I actually use hairspray sometimes. <laughs> not today though. But like you know, to give you that little bit of a sheen. And then you have the, the, the leftover bottle that you can use as well if you do, if you yeah. don't have one of these very nice yeah. looking ones. Cool. So then you'd have this. How much water would you add to it? You just pretty much fill it almost to the top. Okay, so um, this it's would be better me. to use cooled uh, boiled water that's been cooled or yes. filtered water. Um, it won't really go off. I mean, you wouldn't keep it forever and ever. Yeah, this, um, is, this is me playing phytotherapist. It's okay, but you're doing well. Am I missing? No, there's one small drop, but Oh, lovely. Matter. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> this is about... So, oh, gosh, there goes. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> um, 50 mils that, I think. 50 mils, all right. Yeah. And then you'd add, let's say, whichever one you prefer. You can pick any one, citronella, lemongrass. Let's take um, You put about 15 drops of it in. 50, okay, here we go. 10, 15 uh, drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and one for luck. Okay. There we go. Cool. Just and then, remember with the essential oils, they're super concentrated, so less is more. But that's okay. fine, one drop extra is nothing. More the potent world. for those pests at home. <laughs> and oh, yes. lovely, look at that. So, you just so mix it, it up? does, obviously, the oil will float on the top. Yes. You can make them with a bit of um, alcohol, like vodka, if you want to help it to mix in. But uh, this is a 
much cheaper and, you know, not everyone's got alcohol at home. You see, there are very good uses for alcohol. <laughs> Pest control. <laughs> exactly. There we go. So every time you use it, just give it a shake. Yeah. Don't spray it in your eyes or, yes. or anything like that. Okay. Um, not on your skin and don't let it go on your clothes. But if you just spritz it into, into the, the atmosphere, you know, into the air around yeah. you. Um, you won't need loads, like with your air... Um, normal cans that you spray with the, mm. the um, insecticide. Yeah. You normally need to stand there spraying away like mad. Exactly. This you normally just give one spritz and you'll smell it and they'll smell it and they don't like it. And I must say it smells a whole lot better like like we said than the commercial stuff. Thank you very much really for all this does. advice. Really great Pleasure. stuff. So if yes. you're looking for more tips like that visit vital.co.za or of course our website expressoshow.com. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.